Like every young man, Greg has had his troubles. No job and no money. Yeah, I had a little trouble one time. I went to see a doctor. <laughs> Put me on the couch and started me talking. Now he's doing my act in St. Louis. <laughs> I come all the way up from the south to get a job, and the fellow interviewing me said, how far did you go to school? I said, about three miles. <laughs> I got the job, best job I've ever had in my life. All I had to do was throw mail. <laughs> Guy walked up and said, hey, how long you been working here? I said, about 45 minutes. He said, you know darn good and well, you never learn how to throw mail that fast in just 45 minutes. I said, buddy, I could do better than this if I could read. <laughs> Remember the day I walked in your office? That was three days before that they fired me. <laughs> he sent me a letter. I got the letter, carried it home, read it. Come back in about three days. Got to look at me and say, what, what are you doing here? I said, I'll come back to work. What do you mean come back to work? We fired you. Didn't you get the letter? I said, yeah, I got the letter. He said, you read it? I said, I read it inside now. He said, if you read the letter, what you come back for? I said, the inside of the letter said, dear Mr. Gregory, you fired. The outside said return in three days, so here I am. <laughs> Best job I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Best job I've ever had in my life. And I got fired again. <laughs> so I just gave it up that time. You know. Flew out to the West Coast and got me a job working for a wine company. <laughs> Good job. The way I like wine and they pay me. <laughs> <laughs> All I had to do was take off my shoes and socks and step on grapes. <laughs> I got fired. They called me sitting down on the job. <laughs> <laughs> See what happened? Here's a woman steal $2 million from a bank. And the federal government stepped in and told the people in Sheldon, Iowa, don't worry. The bank was insured. We'll pay the $2 million back. Now, have you ever known the government to come out behind? <laughs> They told them they paid the two million dollars back. What happened? They rounded up all them big boys on that antitrust. And when that coincidence they find them two million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> See, you read the paper. She got 15 years in jail. That means she do five and she's out. Three. Three, yeah, you know about all that. <laughs> well, this is this is where it is, you know. Oh, don't get upset. You come in. How'd you like if I come on your job and knock the shovel out your hands? <laughs> you read the papers and you... All right. All right. Trying to get you to shut up like trying to explain integration to a lynch mob. Anyway. <laughs>